Hey to you. I want to welcome you to another episode of How I Animate Clip Studio Paint. Okay, today we're going to be talking about animation composition. I want to pull back the curtain and show a couple things that you guys probably don't realize is going on when it comes to your animation. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get straight into it. Okay, I know you're probably tired of this animation, but look, this is the easiest way that I can go about explaining this. And plus I'm working on something anyway with this animation. But the most important thing when it comes to your animation composition is your animation. Because at the end of the day, we want that to look good, right? So when it comes to an animation, you want to basically get your animation sketch out the way first. So that's what it would look like, just like this. No background, no nothing, just a quick motion animation. And then you want to start working on things like backgrounds and stuff like that. So an example would be this, right? And then I have multiple types of animation for this one layer. If you want to know how to do multiple timelines, uh, I'll put a link right here, a card right here. And you can click on that and look at a pro previous video. Also, we'll be talking about motion tweening when it comes to the composition of animation. But back to this lesson. So we got multiple layers, we got multiple animations, and this is kind of what you're thinking about when you're first doing animation. You're thinking, okay, I'm gonna have me a background and I'm gonna do it like this, and this is what I want it to look like. But this is not what is actually going on in the background. What's actually going on is something like this. This right here is a composition. And what I mean by that, to go a little deeper, is this is multiple drawings put together. And a lot of times these backgrounds are drawn separately, right? So this would be the background in the back, or what you would call like a cove or something. I drew it separately. See that's in the background? And then you got things like the foreground, and that's this. That would be the ground itself, and then this clip side, and this hanging off the side. Doesn't look that great here, but when in composition, it looks much better. It gives a little bit more depth to your animation. And that's the thing when it comes to something like a full-on animation and the composition that goes into it. While you only see something like this, with the camera following close up and stuff like that, what's really going on is this. And let me show you what the camera looks like inside of the animation. And this is the animation. The blue square is the camera. And as you see, it's just following the character through, right? Widens out, so on and so forth. Now, a lot of people that do these animations and put them all together, they do their composition in something like After Effects or right into Premiere Pro. I'm not gonna tell you to do that because I want you to learn how to do it in Clip Studio Paint. Now, if you know how to do it already, you can do that, that's fine and dandy, but this is about Clip Studio Paint. Now, if you don't know how to use the camera, Go back to the same video I already recommended for the clip, I mean, for the uh, multiple timelines. It has timestamps. You can skip forward to how to do motion tweens a little bit more in depth, but let me do one more just in case. Okay, so I'll come up to animation and a new animation layer. Oops. And a 2D camera, right? And remember, you got to be on this tool operation tool. Let me turn this camera off. Yeah, let me turn this camera off. I just want to show you what it what it looks like. So this operation tool is on. And when you move this camera, it makes a keyframe. And then you'll come down, move it again, and it makes another keyframe. So on and so forth. If you want more in depth, on how to use that 2D camera. It's the same as motion tween it. Just go to that video that I suggested for you. Like I said, it has timestamps. The other thing I wanna show you, just in case for the 2D camera, 
this is how you turn on that frame. Just in case if you turn your, uh, create a 2D camera and you can't see the outline, this is where it is. You turn it on. Also, you can turn on the path so you can see where it's going, where it's not going, so on and so forth. But this is all I wanted to really help you understand. And that was the composition of animations. It's best to draw these backgrounds and these things on sep in separate files really big so when you zoom in they don't start pixelating the, the quality doesn't come down and you just slap the animation over the top it, there's no need to try to draw everything in one small cramped space like this this is just is just too much work so that's all we wanted to talk about today that's composition when it comes to animation i hope you learned something today if you did, please share it with a friend, and as always, anime life forever.